Sierra and Chase, we welcome you. <laughs> we are glad to join with you in the celebration of your marriage, to witness your vows, to pray with you, and to wish you joy in your life together. Just watching you guys grow as a couple has been amazing. Yes! You guys have been through thick and thin and I'm just really happy that we could get to this day. One of the famous hot parties, Chase had introduced me to his girlfriend, Sierra. I've really gotten to know Sierra um, and the kind of person she is. Uh, and no matter what happens in life, uh, no matter what happens to her, she'll always have a smile on her face and she'll always be cheerful. I met Chase in the Grand Canyon University parking lot. I didn't like him. <laughs> and, like, I tried really hard not to like him. And I succeeded for a year or so. But then I started to get to know Chase. He has a integrity and compassion and love towards Sierra that I never, I never saw coming. And so I think his parents for you know, raising him the way that they have, um, because not every child these days you know, has the work ethic and the passion for life that Chase has. You look at life with a curiosity of and wonder about you know traveling and seeing the world and and uh, just life itself. Getting to know her, uh, I knew that they were perfect for each other um, and they complement each other in so many great ways. Uh, and now I not only call Chase my best friend, but I call Chase and Sarah my best friend. We have gathered here to celebrate the marriage of Sierra and Chase. Marriage is the promise of hope between two people who love each other, who trust that love, and who wish to share their future together. It enables two separate people to share their desires, longings, dreams, and memories, and to help each other through their uncertainties. It provides encouragement to risk more, and thus gain more. In marriage, husband and wife belong together, providing mutual support and a stability in which their children may grow. It's one of the few things I can count on. One of the few things I can trust. Here in the presence of God, we recognize and affirm their relationship as they begin their married life in community. Chase. Do you love and trust Sierra and want to be her husband? I do. Will you stand by her no matter what happens, respecting her as a person, understanding her needs, and enjoying her love until death parts you? Of course. Sierra. <laughs> oh, he's already going off. He's already going off script, folks. Okay. That's my style. <laughs> Sierra, <laughs> do you love and trust Chase and want to be his wife? Yes, I do. Will you stand by him no matter what happens, respecting him as a person, understanding his needs, and enjoying his love until death parts you? Yes, I will. Shelly and Eric, Patty and Steve, in your new relationship with Chase, do you as their parents pledge your loving support? 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right, congregation, you ready? This is your big moment. Will you, their friends and family, do all in your power to support this couple now and in the years ahead? You have proclaimed and declared your love for each other, and you have shown us a vision of your hope for your life together. Of giving each other symbols, joining of hands, and of giving of rings. My dear ones, you are now husband and wife. Let me unwrap. I don't want to be in the middle of this. All right. You met. <laughs> <laughs> and the way I've seen you, for an unemotional person, I'm probably going to lose it soon. Um, the way that you and Sierra interact uh, has really touched my heart. And it is, you know, I am actually extremely proud to be able to call you my son-in-law. Sierra both met in nursing school, um, actually prior, technically. So she was my micro partner and she adopted me, <laughs> like she does with um, a lot of. I can't express what it means to. I just want you to know that you will always be my little girl. My love is limitless and forever. As a funny way of growing, for those that don't mind slowing down. Oh, time. Just over the last six years now, almost six and a half, uh, I've just been able to watch you grow as a person through the echo so You got this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go be awesome. You got this. Right? You have a work ethic that I wish I had. And I know I work pretty hard. So the two of you together, you're going to be an unstoppable force. Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind This ring is a token This ring is a token Of my faithfulness and love Of my faithfulness and love And a symbol that And a symbol That all I have I share with you that all I have, I share with you. If I could. <laughs> One of my favorite memories growing up was my 17th birthday. I was supposed to go out to Illinois uh, for a long weekend in February, and we both ended up getting sick, um, and we had to cancel the trip. Um, and the next thing I know, my mom tells me that Steve wanted me out uh, in Illinois for the whole month of July. I was so happy that my three-day trip turned into a 30-day trip, um, and that was probably one of the best summers I ever had growing up, spending time with Chase and his family. Um, and as time went on, uh, I learned Chase was moving back to Arizona for college. Um, and I was so happy to have my best friend back in Arizona. Uh, and that summer he came back, I'm pretty sure we spent every single day together. was able to find by myself some Pappy Van Winkle 12-year 
Family Reserve. And because I like you, I really do, I would like you to have it. I would like you to enjoy it year after year and uh, take care of my little girl. Anyone I know. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love that is not envious or boastful or arrogant. Love that rejoices in the truth. Thank you to all of you for coming today and tonight. Um, witnessing this marriage between Chase and Sierra, uh, and then helping us celebrate tonight, because it's very important to me, and I know it's important to them, uh, and it's my privilege and honor to host all of you. First of all, um, let's all give Chase and Sierra's parents a round of applause for raising two great young people. So I would like to propose a toast because it is their fault that we are all here tonight. And it is their love that has brought us all together to celebrate. To Sierra and Chase, let's have your love. preparing for fortunate to get to know both Chase and Sierra as adults, as two people who are deeply in love with each other, who tease one another and laugh easily. Young love is often like that, isn't it? It's easy, it's head over feels, it's almost being blinded with love, all those endorphins and positive emotions. <laughs>